here's meteorologist Helen Holt with your Storm Track 3 forecast. All right, we are taking a look at Carolina Beach on our Stevenson Skyview camera network. Helen, you can't see it, but it is hot out there. It's still, let's just say, it's still hot. I was just out there a few minutes ago, and you could feel kind of like a sauna. It's yes. Just, it's air you can wear. I don't know how yes. else to describe it. And sweat you can wear. Yeah, <laughs> but good news, we are going to be seeing some relief on the way. So weather headlines. We had a hot weekend, but it's actually going to be followed up by a brief cool down as we head into the new work week thanks to a backdoor cold front. But like I said, it's going to be very brief. By Tuesday, we're already going to be talking about that heat and humidity returning with a southwesterly flow. Rain and storm chances going to hold off for Monday and Tuesday, but coming back into our forecast as we head into Wednesday, even into portions of the weekend. Today, though, was very nice. Didn't even see an afternoon storm spark up. Just plenty of sunshine out there, but we're watching this backdoor cold front, like I said, basically over the Virginia and North Carolina line, and this is going to sink southward and drop our humidity and also drop our temperatures tomorrow. We're not going to be in the 90s like what we were today. We're actually going to be into the 80s. We'll start out with temperatures pretty warm in the 70s, maybe a few upper 60s for our far inland spots. But I think overall it's going to be a warm, muggy start and then temperatures climbing up into the 80s. You'll notice those dew points going to be a lot lower tomorrow afternoon. When you walk outside, it's not going to feel as sticky. And then as we head into our Tuesday morning, a cooler start. We'll start probably in the 60s, but then we'll climb back up into the 90s pretty much uh, for everywhere. Maybe along the immediate coastline, you'll stay into the 80s, but lots of sunshine in store for Monday, Tuesday. Look at our temperatures, though, as we head into the middle portion of the week, warming back up into the 90s, sticking with us as we head into Friday. Your AC is going to need a little relief, and you'll get that as we go into next weekend. But over the next couple of days, the AC will be cranking on full blast. You'll need it. If you're going to have to work outside, make sure you're staying hydrated and wearing plenty of sunscreen. Mostly clear skies tonight. You'll notice that humidity dropping as early as tomorrow. West winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures will start off in the 70s tomorrow afternoon mid 80s, lower 80s for right along the coast. Lots of sunshine. If you held off of doing that yard work today, maybe you'll have a chance to do it tomorrow because it's going to feel not too bad out there and definitely not as hot as it was today. 86 degrees by three o'clock. And then if you're heading out to the beach tomorrow, if you were sitting out in the chair today, it was probably felt pretty um, muggy and sticky. Not going to be the case. You might actually feel a little bit on the cooler side with a north to northeast wind, 5 to 15 miles per hour, 82 degrees. Water temperature nice at 80 degrees. And good news in the tropics, nothing of concern. And the National Hurricane Center doesn't expect any tropical development over the next five days. So good news there. But Hannah, that heat and humidity coming Ooh. back. But enjoy tomorrow. Maybe have lunch outside. It is going to be absolutely beautiful. And then do have some question marks on next weekend, so I have to keep a close eye on that. But as far as the forecast, next couple of days, enjoy it. No Monday blues this week. Definitely, <laughs> definitely no Monday blues this week. All right, thank you, Helen. Well,